Hey guys, this is Dr. Glitch and welcome back to a brand new video. So the reason I'm making this video for you guys right now is to help you guys get significantly faster download speeds on your PS4 using the same internet connection that you have right now. We're going to make a few tweaks in the settings on your console and you're not going to need anything else except for your PS4 and a working internet connection for this method. And you're going to see how effective and efficient this method is. Now, before we get to the video, I also want to let you guys know that season five in Fortnite is almost out and I'm going to be giving away five battle passes this time. So if you guys want to stay updated about this giveaway, do not forget to hit subscribe and also do not forget to turn on post notifications to stay updated about this giveaway. With that being said, let's just get right into the video. All right, guys. Now, before we start with anything, we're going to take a look at the Internet connection speed. Uh, in order to be able to compare the speed with what we get later on in this video after doing the method. So we're going to be using the same connection. Here it is. All right, so we're just going to skip through all of this. Test internet connection. All right, so as you guys can see, I have around three megabytes per second of download speed and around 500 kbps of upload speed which is way below average now let's also take a look at how fast we're able to download an update file of fortnite so we're just going to go ahead and resume this let me also tell you guys that if you have a weak internet connection it's it's going to take way longer to prepare the download uh, before you even start downloading. So that's how uh, weak my internet connection is, as you guys can see. So let's just go ahead and skip the prepare to download part and get straight to how long it's gonna take to download this file in order for us to compare the connection speed that we're gonna get later on in this video after doing the method. All right, so as you guys can see, this is the kind of download speed that I'm getting on my connection right now, which in my opinion is pretty bad. It's terrible. And I wouldn't wish this for my worst enemy, to be honest. Now I'm gonna show you guys a few tweaks that you can make on your console, as well as in your network settings in order to get a significantly better download speed. All right, guys, so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go onto settings. Now scroll all the way down and go onto system. Now scroll down and click on automatic downloads. Now what you want to do right here is just uncheck all of these boxes. So you're going to uncheck all four boxes on the screen and then go back, scroll down and click on report system software errors. And you're going to uncheck this box as well. So after you're done with this, go back, go back once again. Now scroll up and go on to application safe data management and scroll all the way down to auto upload and you're going to uncheck all of these boxes as well so just make sure you uncheck the first box uh, it's going to take care of the rest of it once you're done with this just go all the way back go on the network and then select set up in a connection use wi-fi and then on this screen you're going to select custom and then select the internet connection that you connected to now once you get to this screen select automatic DHCP host name is going to be do not specify. Now DNS settings is where you're going to make the change. So you're going to select manual and for the primary DNS, you're going to be typing in 8.8.8.8. Hit R2, go on to the secondary DNS and just type in 8.8.4.4. Select next, MTU setting is going to be automatic proxy server do not use now let's test our internet connection and see if we can get any significant difference okay so i don't know if you guys can notice but i can already feel like it's loading in much faster so there you have it we've now got 50 megabytes per second of download speed and almost nine megabytes per second of upload speed which is i don't even know how fast that is from the connection that we had early on but yeah guys it's significantly faster now, I can't really guarantee you that every one of you watching this video is going to get the same amount of difference uh, in your connection speed. But what I can guarantee is the fact that you're going to be getting you're going to be getting an improved Internet connection speed for sure. All right. Now, let's just go ahead and check uh, the kind of download speed that we're getting right now compared to what we were getting earlier. So if I'm not wrong, so if I'm not wrong, we had almost four hours left for a file that was about four GBs. Now, um, let's see, let's see how better our speed is right now with all of the changes that we've made. 
So as you guys can see, we went from four hours to just around 20 minutes. Oh, it's not even 20, it's going down. It's about 10 to 15 minutes. And that, in my opinion, is a significant change. So there you have it, guys. This is how you get a better internet connection on your PS4 without really having to change your connection or making any significant changes. So that was pretty much it. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you do, please don't forget to leave a like to this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.